21 Palestinians killed just in the last 48 hours. And then Israel goes and claims that that's an anti-terrorism operation, a counter-terrorism operation. Really? Is this child a terrorist? This is just one of the children killed. Or is this child perhaps a terrorist? Or, or this one over here? Or maybe this Palestinian dentist, is he also a terrorist? Not a single Israeli has been harmed or killed. Look, look at the inequality and in, in, just in the figures, you know, since the year began, you've had 123 Palestinians killed versus 19 Israelis. Who is the aggressor here? You want to talk about terrorism? Look no further than Israel. Israel bombing people in their sleep, bombing children and women in their sleep. You go on and call these people terrorists. Let me ask you something. When it comes to the Ukrainians, when they fire at Russians, does anybody call them terrorists? No one questions their right to resist an occupation. Why is that questioned when it comes to the Palestinians who've been at this for 70 years, right? First the British before that, now the Israelis taking their land, treating them like, like fifth class non-citizens. And then on top of it, they're called terrorists for taking up arms, for using their legal right to resist. Where, where is their right to kick out an occupier, an oppressor? Where is their right to fight against an illegal occupation? You know what? I'll tell you where it is. It's in the UN Charter. It's in the Geneva Convention. That's where the Palestinians' right to resist is enshrined. Enshrined in international law and legal doctrine. This is, nothing you can, this is something you can never take away. This is their moral and legal right. And calling them terrorists begs the question, who's coming up with these labels? Perhaps it's the terrorists themselves bombing people in their sleep.